We're headed down the river now to see what we can find. So fingers crossed for some elephants. Something big made these paths. Forest elephants. They're related to elephants found elsewhere in Africa, but are perfectly adapted to life in this thick maze. And considering their size, they're surprisingly hard to find. Elephants clear these huge pathways through the forest, hoovering up fruit and vegetation along the way. The seeds from those plants pass through the elephants and are spread far and wide. Some plant species can only be dispersed this way, and others rely on the elephant's stomach acid to soften the seeds before germinating. And that is why elephant dung provides the perfect conditions for new life to spread through the forest. Elephants actually have quite soft feet, so they must find this compacted soil very comfortable to walk on. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. But it's not just elephants and cameramen that use these paths. Many other animals rely on them to get around. Speaking from experience, it's quite easy to get lost in here. But if you follow these paths, they all lead to one place in particular. For hundreds of years, thousands of elephants have used these pathways. They all meet up here at the edge of the bay, where elephants congregate at night to collect important minerals. I'm really curious to see if anything comes through tonight, so I'm going to write something in the sand, and in the morning, we'll see if it's been disturbed. The wealth of minerals in the bay gives forest elephants exceptionally strong tusks, much harder than elephants found elsewhere. Sadly, this makes their ivory the most desirable of all. Ivory workers can carve intricate designs into these dense tusks, and as a result, the price on their heads is high. Until now, these vast forests have provided much needed protection from poachers. But as logging operations move deeper into the Congo Basin, the infrastructure that comes with them allows poachers to venture even further into their habitat. Oh, check it out. We've got half a W and an F left. So they obviously came through here last night. I think we should head down to the river and see if we can see them in the flesh. to see this river full of life. But there was a surprise waiting for us around one particular corner. It's easy to think that this elephant may have never seen a human before. And for their sake, I kind of hope it stays that way.
On the way back up the river, we were lucky enough to see even more elephants, including this mother and calf. With the slowest birth rate of any mammal, forest elephants are now being poached faster than they're being born. It's impossible for us to predict the full consequences of losing these animals. But one thing is for certain, nothing is more important to this ecosystem than forest elephants.